This big girl right here is a 2005 Winnebago Sightseer. Gets about 30 miles per gallon, but that's a complete lie. She's gonna get about seven miles per gallon. This is where the generator lives. What kind is this, Tim? It's a uh, Onan. Woo! You know, micro quiet. 4,000. That's my favorite kind of generator. So unlike every single van life slash RV life video, we don't have solar panels. All of our electricity is gonna be coming from an old fashioned generator. There is a ton of storage in this thing. Storage, storage. Storage, storage, storage. storage. That's right, a CD player. But you won't hear it because there'll be a copyright infringement. These are future steers, look. This is my whole captain chair area, which is sweet because one of the reasons we chose the A-Class is because we ride up high, but I got a ton of space all around me. I have this huge comfy chair. It's like sitting in a chair in your living room. It's my backup camera, black and white. Circa 1982. So you might have noticed this, let's call it, what is that? A 19 inch, maybe a 20 inch TV. No big deal, okay? Spare no expense in this. You pair that up with, that's right, it's a DVD VCR combo. So you can watch Land Before Time, you get sick of that. You just throw in the Matrix on DVD, you watch those bonus features. I know, totally cliche gender roles here, but you guys are hanging out with me for the inside of the tour. We are taking it upon ourselves to renovate the RV a little bit, just because there's some things that come along with an RV that don't make a lot of sense to me. This is my favorite example for that in the RV. Like, why are there two chairs right here? The front chair completely spins around. Why do I have both this chair and this chair? So we're thinking about a little like front entryway area, maybe some like cubby space, put our shoes in there, some drawer space for like some camera equipment when we're coming in and out of the front door. This is the foyer. All right, well, this is what it is. If you see an RV, you guys kind of know the drill in this space. Our plans for the renovation are to remove the jackknife sofa and the dinette's gonna go. So this whole area is a slide out. So from the side of the sofa all the way through the end of the dinette, you can kind of see like the funky wall here. So this wall moves all the way out and you just have so much more like living and open floor space here. And this is a little bit too short to lay down on. So when we put in the sofa and remove all this, the sofa was actually gonna come all the way to over here. So someone super tall like us can lay down and have a really comfy bed. If you are new to RV life, which we are because we've literally never spent a night in here, here's how all of this works. So we've got a double-sided sink, and maybe do some backsplash here. We're painting all the cabinets. We have an oven and a three burner stove. They both work on propane. So you um, were connected to a huge propane tank below the RV and it'll just function on that, I'm sure without a problem, but we've never used it. And then we have a microwave here. That can definitely fit a bag of popcorn. <laughs> and this works off of electric. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Because I don't. This is actually a really decent sized fridge. Our fridge in our apartment right now isn't that much bigger. And this is a super huge freezer. So you want to balance the size of not having a super huge fridge that you have to keep cold. This works off of both electric and propane. And then look at all of this pantry space. Some days I go between, we have so much space, and other days I go between, like, where is all of our stuff gonna go? This is a day I'm having right now that all of this looks really big, but it's also empty. Here's the control panel. I really like the thermostat just because I feel like that feels like home. It's 71 degrees in here, and it's only 50 degrees outside, so this does really act like a greenhouse and stays warm in here, which is perfect. Um, you can check your water levels and your other important things like your generator and just like there's a lot of data here. Your levels of your black water, your gray water, your fresh water, and your propane and the battery. And then there's also just the buttons called in and out, very intuitive, for the slide out. And you just push them and your whole living space moves. 
Okay, we're working our way to the back in this super confined space. But first, look how cool this is. So in the master suite, you open the bathroom door and it shuts this whole room off. Bye. So come on back here and we'll explore the back area. See, now you guys are on the inside. So you can close off that whole living space if you just have like a huge raging party out there and you need just like some privacy back here. This is kind of fun that you've got the shower on one side and the toilet and sink area on another side. And then fun, I mean like, wow, this is so fun. If you need scale, I'll sit for you. This goes into a black water tank, which you can Google if you don't know about that. This is for storage. And this is for storage, and that's for storage. You know what I haven't mentioned yet? The people we bought this from redid the floors already for us. So good job, you guys. Thank you for redoing the floors for us, because that was going to be on the list, but it's not. Now back to our scheduled program. Here's the shower on the other side. Here's the dead body that we lug around in the shower. <clears throat> that is the RV cover. It covers the whole RV. <laughs> I am 5'11". So my brother would definitely not fit in here. Tim 6'1", it'll be tight. This is a little bit like rounded ceiling, so I can put my hand in there. Come on, Come. baby, you can do it. Oh, you did it! <laughs> this is it. I think it's like a queen-ish. Our plans for the bedroom. We're gonna paint all the cabinets white, and we're gonna put some cool like wood panel like sticker things, cause like, that's hashtag pintastic. There really is a lot of storage. Like you can put a whole laundry basket up in here. We will learn more once we use this RV at least one time. <laughs> Thank you for checking out this video. We're gonna document the whole renovation process. We have big plans, but we also have a big itinerary of what we're gonna be doing. And so we have to balance what we can get done in the time that we have to do it because we will also want to get out on the road. So like stick around and come hang out for a little bit. To catch you up, we purchased the RV in Ohio, drove it to Wisconsin to rip it apart, drove it to Michigan to say goodbye to family, then down to Florida to remodel in the hottest place possible. We left Florida after some last minute adjustments, made friends with alligators in Louisiana, had some bevies on Bourbon Street, broke down on the beach, and we'll spend March in Austin. By the time we leave, we'll be all caught up and posting videos as we go. April's for New Mexico, probably gonna find some caves for Finney. Arizona, that's where the Grand Canyon is, we heard, and Utah to line up with millions of other tourists at the busy national parks. Then we'll stop by Yellowstone for even more friendship. Wave at the Tetons, hike Glacier in May. June is for Banff and Jasper. Barely time to slow down, eh? July is for the Yukon Territory. We've already heard how nice the mosquitoes are this time of year. By the way, it's 1,800 miles from Jasper to Fairbanks. In August, we'll touch the most northern point in Alaska and the official launch of the Pan American Road Trip, where we'll change up our series name for precious search optimization on YouTube. And finally, start heading south until you can't go south anymore. So that's totally the plan. Will we be forever in this 30-foot Class A RV? Probably not. I don't know how this would like do through the mountains of Bolivia, but that's what's happening on this channel, and we hope you're coming along for the journey.